Hello. Hey guys, what's up? Rex, thanks for the sub using Prime. Been subbed for 21 months, that's crazy. Uh, hope you're doing good. Thanks for the lurking. Hope you've been well. So I've been playing Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, last time we were doing a bunch of side quests. Uh, because they always pop up every so often. And so we are here doing this one. Oh yeah. I think I just finished one of the previous <clears throat> side quests I was working on. So uh, let's work on the hunt. I'm supposed to fight a mob row of some sort. Um, I believe he's in Rosaria. Let's see. Or not Rosaria. What was it? It was Rosaria. Yeah, it's right here. In the whispering water, so let's uh, teleport there. Vitamins. Doing alright. Doing the work thing and all. Nothing too exciting at all. I guess it is what it is. The grind must continue. Uh, my vitamins are actually far away from me, so let me go grab them. Uh, honestly, I've actually been slacking on my multivitamins. I've been taking my daily probiotics, which is really good. But yeah, over time, our, our digestion, our digestive tract isn't as good as it used to be. But I should still be taking my multivitamin. Good old swallowing pills. Have you asked nothing uh, different, nothing new in life right now? Gloom Widow. Still things for no reason. I'm very curious on what's gonna happen later on. Mainly, not only story-wise, but also like world-wise, I guess. Because right now we're at level 40. I don't know what the max level is. But I'm definitely very close uh, to the end of the game, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is definitely where the Marlboro is going to be. Oh, <laughs> didn't you let me pick up that item? Oh, it's a red one this time. Ah, it's called a carrot. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually our third mob row, I believe, that we fought in the game. That's ugly. Not the bad breath. The wild rage. Get some. Oh yeah. Let's see, yeah, using the Bahamut um, icon, I can charge this Mega Flare. And you actually charge it faster if you perfect dodge stuff, so. I'm oh, a five breath. Five breath, ah. Five breath. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I was not even paying attention. Alright. Down. Oh, this guy is definitely weak. We get that out of this baby. Because he's at level 35. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go and do this. Yeah. Whoops, breath. I don't know what that is. Because I can't see a thing. I'm just, so this is pretty much how I fight every enemy that has a break bar. Stagger it, and then I just unload everything on it. Just MVP damage right there. Oh, oh yeah, it's the end dude. Thingy. Wow. Acid rain. 
Oh, that kind of masquerading. Feeling, but oh, there's like little sludge balls or like patches everywhere. I had a feeling that would hurt us. This get down. Once I get the tornado, I'm gonna use it right away. Not the worst breath. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's go and just kill it. Giga Blair. I should be able to kill it. I just gotta do the rest of my combo. Though I ran out of limit break, actually, so maybe I won't be able to kill it. Not quite. Wow, that was almost another 70k, but... Survived. It's over! Good job. <laughs> nice. Alright. Easy. Yeah, that's pretty much just like every other marble fight. So, nothing crazy. That was definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Back to the yard. Yeah, I've definitely been enjoying every bit of 16. It's been a lot of craziness going on. And again, just fighting a lot of the major battles. It's been very cool. Um, it's pretty much for the most part. Um, we just go around fighting different summons or icons. And yeah, it's just crazy cinematic battles. Which have been really good. Um, so again, we actually have two more icons that we can get their power for. So if we look at our abilities, and there's two more slots. One, two, I assume. Uh, one of them probably is Odin. Because again, that's the next guy we have to defeat. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who else it could be. Um, I'm thinking it's Shiva, but that just means something happens to Jill, and technically something did happen to Jill. We have to go save her, actually. Uh, she got captured. Um, so yeah, we. I feel like we will probably get her power first uh, before we actually fight Odin. Odin's probably going to be the last power we get. Um, and let's meet the rise. It could also be the other way. Or we could get both at the same time. I don't know. Um... All I know is they got Jill and we need to save her from her death. Um, I really hope they don't kill her off. <laughs> I'd be so sad. Oh. Rodriguez could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. <laughs> yeah, he's a big, big spider. Oh, nothing to handle him. This. this is funny because everything gets caught up in the tornado, <laughs> and I can't do anything. I'm just gonna sit here and charge Mega Player. I guess I could have used uh, the other ability. Oh, interesting. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say like my limit break is charging a lot, <laughs> but it's because of the tornado. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Sit here and let the tornado and Bahamas little orbs do all the work. Spider eye. I only get one. There's so many spiders, but I only get one. Well, hopefully one will be enough. Alright. Oops. 
Well, that takes care of both of our side quests, so we can just go back to the hideout, turn these in, and then we can continue on the main story. Uh, which one do I want to go to? I think this one's closer, and the other one's kind of farther. Cole said it was an army of Akashic. Akashic. Uh, but yeah, um, oh yeah, Rex, I recently went to an anime convention, back. and I bought a Ooh, lot of art. Like um, I think I put it in Is my Discord, so if you wanted to to look at what I got. It's just a bunch of prints and keychain stickers. Yes, it is. Um, a bunch of Final Fantasy, you, some uh, Genshin and Honkai Star Rail like stuff. Then uh, got some Persona Sometimes prints as well. All we can do. But a I really feel like playing Persona. <laughs> I need to play Persona and all other Royal. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death, nonetheless. I wish there was another way. But yeah, um, How are you like it's a Jedi. Like a what? You. What's a Jedi? Who's a Jedi? Drifting on waves. But. Good. Yeah, I really feel like playing Persona Just 5 relax. next. I feel like it's not a bit ahead of schedule, but at the same time, though, I've been putting it off for almost two Thank years you, now, Daya. so let's go ahead and play it. <laughs> a person I showed? But who's... I'm oh, her? Tarya? So mm, she's a healer. Yeah, she's great. Oh, the dude. The dude? Not the dude on the bed, right? It's a different dude. This dude? That dude? He does look like a, a Jedi, actually. He just doesn't have a lightsaber. <laughs> He's gone. Thank you, Rodriguez. And you, Clive? Oh, yeah. So the backstory on this game is so, that... Yeah, so there's a bunch of people who have the little tattoo on their face. Uh, they've been marked. Even our guy has been marked. The man you helped and pretty much everybody in this village, time. actually, or this hideout, um, the has the power of magic it, within them. I was still a child, so they can cast magic uh, infinitely. The only problem is, it slowly gift. takes away their life force. Lands, and so, you know, the guy useless. that was in the bed, Until he was slowly he petrifying because he was art, at his limits at lost without. how much uh, magic he used in his lifetime gift to the bearers of the world um, so spice from the agony this side quest had us pretty much get an ingredient so that they could create a poison to pretty much march give him that painless death might be your last kind of like lethal injection type of thing commander may care nothing but yeah the bearer spent in his otherwise yeah they just slowly petrify and gift of the dying one sounds terrible moment of tranquility before the end um i've no yeah apparently the premise of the game is that we're going around destroying all these we call mother crystals because the only other way to Something cast magic in this world change. is to use these crystals and we need to be the ones um, to change it because the crystals draw in we ether will. from the air or the surroundings so that they can cast uh magic I hope so. but the problem is for some reason uh the people who have magic uh who can cast magic innately are seen as second-rate citizens for some reason even though they're technically better than regular people <laughs> but i guess it's one of those prejudice things um because you know everyone just wants to live a simple life but then the people who are magicless um, you know, they see the magic bearers as, um, a threat or something. I don't know. But either way, we're going around destroying all these major crystal formations where they actually farm these crystals so that pretty much the bearers will become like, I guess like gods, but at least elevate their position because then they become very valuable. And of course, if they all band together, all the bearers, they can, you know, 
take a stand against these scumbags <laughs> that are exploiting exploiting their abilities. Again, I don't understand how it's like this. <laughs> like it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much our whole mission to kind of like even the playing field for some uh, Sid, to some I, degree. Uh... Can't help but notice that your satchel Jeez. is twitching in a Oh yeah, we got a marble tentacle, I guess. Yeah, the tendril. It's still alive, I guess. Gross. Yeah. It's your problem now. <laughs> Here, take this. What an amazing specimen. Ew. Gross. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. I forgot why we even if got I this. Can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards. The who? Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards. I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Yeah, I kind of look. I definitely look forward to playing Persona 5 Royal. I'll definitely do that after this. Yeah, I'll play that. Not sure how long it'll take. Maybe like a month or two. Yeah, I'm going to come back and play 15. I wanted to play 15. I might do a stream in between where I actually finish Lightning Returns. Because that it's run kind of died. Because <laughs> I didn't grind Witness. enough. How the Morgan Beards have taken the final boss. Soil. Um, How they bloom with heretofore unseen I did do a, uh, a couple of play or like off stream playing sessions other specimens as well. in which I did I'm glad I grind a little bit, but you've not only helped us oh, out. Definitely you've want to us. get that do you completed. The it's one of those I you I took a things where I don't like more. keeping things time, incomplete. The petals from the invigorated Morgan Beards, and yeah, I'll definitely go back and do that. Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Oh, we get more potent potions? Something? I think so. I think that's why this side quest had a plus sign on it. Maybe so we got an increase in our yeah. If adding the extract of Morgan Beer petals to curative or performance enhancing potions increases their potency, then imagine what adding the extract of Morgan Beer Petals fortified with the vigor of a moral grip with madness might do. Let's say I prefer the increasing consumable potency. Nice. So that means our potions heal more and stuff. You have attained a feel of invigorated Morgan Beard Extract. Further increasing the potency of most consumables, both potions and high potions now restore even more HP. Well, strength, stone skin, and lionheart tonics last even longer. And I feel like they heal a pretty decent amount already, so I guess they make regular potions heal about half our health, I'd say. Oh yeah, we can go ahead and go to the main story quest all the way out here. Let's see, we're gonna get ready. Because this ship is being built so that we can pursue uh, Barnabas's what was called his ship and again we need to save Jill because they took her she uh didn't necessarily sacrifice herself she didn't die it's just she got captured um because we were immortally wounded but yeah thanks to Joshua's phoenix healing capabilities. Uh, Joshua right here in the red kind of coat thing. Uh, our guy Clive survived. Odin's uh, Zentetsuken strike. Be proud of I'm you, assuming it's Zentetsuken. Zent 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 His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. Good <laughs> mid. Can we catch them? The INA is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. Yeah, that ship. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. Yeah, her ship this very much is the Enterprise. Has steam engines, more and or less. The world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. So it, it doesn't it necessarily hasn't. need wind to drive it fast, but of course they still have sails. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Thumb? He's Odin. He can one shot everybody. Only what the bards sing. He wants. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. 
that it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. Yep. And that his sword, yep. Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Yeah, Odin's definitely one of the strongest. And don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. Uh oh. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! We just found out. Mid! Company! Hey? Hey. We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! <laughs> but hurry! Bollocks! Bollocks! All hands! Man your stations! <laughs> Torgo. Good boy, Torgo. Everyone with me? Oh yeah. Watch you just beat nobody. <laughs> We're getting all on high alert for no reason. Stiffly. <laughs> okay, shit. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> That's no like. Here they come. Oh yeah, instead of you get animated uh emotes. It's so lazy. Oh yeah, I actually also had the idea, which I've been pondering for a while now, to possibly turn into a VTuber. But the thing is, I don't want to pay for it. Therefore, oops, I thought I was in. <laughs> thought I was in. Phoenix mode. Yeah, so I did a little bit of research into it, uh, but it's definitely a very involved process. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much it would be a three-step project, which could take over a year for, for sure. <laughs> Cause, especially because I'm not that good at digital art. Uh, uh, so yeah, I would have to create the model, which I would use on my digital art thing. And then we carried. carried. And I would mess around with this thing called Live 2D Cubism, the program, in which you would rig said model onto so that it will move around. Um, a certain way. Depending on how I set it up. But the final part is hooking it onto. YouTube Studio, which, wow, which is free on Steam, actually, and that's where everything comes together. Yeah, I haven't started anything, but oh shit! Let's go use that potion. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much my guess year plan. <laughs> I don't know how many years <laughs> that take. Ooh, parried. We'll see. Let's go kill this guy. So yeah, um, I'm not sure what, when I'm gonna have the time to do all this stuff, but we shall see. <laughs> oh. It's over. 
Yeah. Kinda wish I went to buy potions. I wonder if I can still do that. Yeah, level up. I didn't level up. <laughs> I have so much steel too. Uh, as for what I think I want my model to look like, it's probably gonna be very similar to the that was easy enough. new profile picture I put for right, Twitch. So, we'll see. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain? <sighs> um, yeah, that's pretty much my plan on that. Clive? Somebody else? You're back. Thought I killed you. But I thought he was. That was when you don't decap. <laughs> Confounded. Decapitate. This is as I feared. Unless he's just a. Sleipnir is no man. Creation, yeah. But the creation of Odin. Oh, what? That's cheap. <laughs> he was so hard to beat. Just like one of them. Let alone having to fight this many of them. Phoenix is fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Can we just summon? <laughs> Right, Lord Rosfield. My boy, there was a time my people boy. called me the Executioner. <laughs> Those are my eyes. No matter, heads will roll all the same. This is Mate, whack. New plan! You leave! We follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Lay anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! I never knew that was a thing, though. Slip near is a uh, creation of Odin. Okay, oh, they're weak though. These foes will not fall easily. They will fall. I can this before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! Let's make sure they're not attacks me. Oh, uh, dang it. Unless you have a best shot. Well, I've already killed him. He's five in a basket. <laughs> Let's do the lot. It's over. It's kind of whack because, like, we just did the boss battle with this guy slept in. But now they're making us fight all these weaker versions of it. So that. Why do I keep dodging so early? Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. Oh yeah. I keep dodging. I'll oh, put dodging too early. Let's just do that a little Shoulder tackle somebody with the armor on. Wild. I guess we're a lot stronger since our last encounter with uh, <laughs> Left Nia. <laughs> He's like my butt. Too old for this. I didn't jump in that far with that kind of armor. Yeah, that may, may as well be a heavy armor. Yeah, quest complete. Our enterprises. That's funny. Now we leveled up for sure. 
Yeah. What do you want? Not bad. Now, mate! Alright, engines go ahead! Steam engines. It's nice. Yeah, so far in this game I have not really encountered that's some crazy water graphic. But I haven't really encountered any like bad fights. I don't think I got stuck on any particular fight. Uh, I'm actually over leveled too, so that helps. I'm good. I'm now six or seven levels over. Jill, what happened? Why is there dead bodies with her in the cell? Uh, creepy. What do you want? <sighs> That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Crusaders of Cantor. I love how it's called the Enterprise. To your stations. Every bell's been treading water, puts yeah, that's a throwback to Final Fantasy 3, actually. One of the airships. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Gotta row, row, row our boat. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms. We should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. <laughs> On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. <laughs> Yet what you require is a thousand, mm, yeah. and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can oh. provide them. Iron army? That help. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Again. <laughs> Good luck, Uncle. Dead again. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> you crazy, Uncle. Cheerio. <laughs> up now can we we would never hear the end of it <laughs> all right next next stop twin side the emperor oh dion i forgot that he left the hospital bed should have waited. So he went back home, it looks like, but he's not. How did he get all the way back here is the question. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, since everyone's been slain, more or less, he's now the new king, technically. Emperor. Technically. 
all this. It... What have I done? Vale. What? Oh, it's that lady or that girl with the curatives. She, he definitely needs her potions. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, Dion inadvertently killed his own dad, which was the emperor. Even though he kind of like succeeded his throne to this little douchebag kid. <laughs> Um, interesting. I wonder where we are. We going all the way around? So we need to destroy this crystal at some point. But I think what we're doing is we're just chasing after again the Odin ship. Oh, that's a big gap in the. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been we've seen this. Uh, it's like some big battle that left a big old hole in the ground. Raider, I should say. Unfortunately, I don't have any potions. Hopefully, we can buy some before we disembark. Yeah, that ship looks crazy. A lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells. Ship. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Like we have already caught up. Pretty cool. This is the first time we actually had like yep battles <laughs> or something in a Let's see what this Final Fantasy do. game. <laughs> but yeah, so you know that's the normal ship, which is at the mercy of the winds. But our ship has four mithril engines, all Odin, meaning. Barnabas and battle gear. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Not good. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. It's a power of friendship, baby. Fascinating. <laughs> uh oh. Time. But then there is naught my blade cannot sever. That's not even Odin's true form. Not the ship. Try to ram. I don't know. I don't like this. <laughs> he can easily cut through our ship with his Tatsuken. <laughs> Surprised he didn't slice again. Raiding party. Never, I'll find her. Let's kill the rest of us. 
Interesting, I would get back to some bad luck games and play this. Yeah. yeah. 15, or 16 is definitely. Well, the most graphically. Like, whatever you want to call it. So beautiful, graphics wise. Let's keep stabbing. Um, yeah, Rex, are you gonna try to play in order or anything, or are you just gonna start from, I don't know? You could start from this one. <laughs> the newest. And you wanna play 1 through 6? Just gotta finish. Menu O first? Yeah. Like, I would. Oh, protect. Like, I wouldn't mind getting the Pixel, re Pixel Remaster uh, collection. On Steam. I don't know if they sell it for other consoles or like Switch or anything, but maybe next big marathon I'll play the Pixels Pixel Remastered version of everything. But yeah, I still need to play the second one actually. I technically played the first one. Uh played it on oh, it's a not a joke. Thief. Assassin. Keep shooting at it from the distance. You shoot fire too. Uh oh, no. No. I don't know how you just go. Target. Simply like stunning. I'll do. Get up with everything we got. And he should be dead. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Made to be broken. I don't know what that achievement means. Any more enemies? Oh, just go inside. Oh, it's a bear, looks like. What? Hurry. Uh, if anything, I'll probably... If I do... Oh no, not the Enterprise, we just... <laughs> had that completed. Break that ship. I'm actually surprised that he's lasting longer than Clive did. <laughs> so I guess technically he did. Had a fight through uh, Slip near. More dudes. That's a big boy. Get the big boy. Get over the big guy. Let's kill this other guy. Get over here. Alright. <laughs> I did not go away on it. Oh, oh, hit my doggo. 
Oh, that was good. Yeah, do this again. So much damage. Oh, yeah. Do that. Are we done? That's a lot of experience. Is that a potion? That's not a potion. Where's the door? Where's my girl at? It's down this way. Is that a potion? That's a potion. Another potion. This guy can't feel his leg. I'm just a cook. <laughs> I just make food. <laughs> Don't kill me, bruh. Inside me. Losing you again. How did you? I'll explain later. Hands. How did he? <laughs> he just ripped Walk open the. <laughs> out of here, I can. <laughs> ripped open the handcuffs. Don't destroy our enterprise. Before me, but a guttering flame. Uh oh. Behind you. Alright, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's gonna slash the whole ship, probably. Oh, he's on his horse now. He turned into a full Bahamut. Or not Bahamut, Odin. Oof. Wait, isn't his horse called Slepnir? I forget. I don't, I don't remember mythology. They don't let him cut everything. So do it anyways. No. Oof. No, Joshua. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> he deflected it, which is good. Wow. Oh no. Like a big parting of the seas. It's crazy. Crazy. That's pretty cool. It reminds me of Final Fantasy X when that kind of happened. No. 
Oh, they're definitely gonna get buried underwater. Ground underwater. I'm gonna get out. Eh, I guess technically Shiva could freeze it, but I don't know if Jill's. Oh, wow. It's like. Wow. I think we want to stay on the boat. Because <laughs> the water is going to fall back down at some point. Uh oh. I don't like this. I'm feeling this when we take Jill's powers. Don't like this. Can you go on? I think so. I really don't like this. <laughs> We're in like the worst place ever. Like, but to, to where? We're in the middle of the ocean. How are we gonna get to? Dry land. Uh oh, here we go. Boating time. It's the rematch. I really have a bad feeling about this. You. What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the mother crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. There we go. We gotta transform all the way again. Halfway. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Uh, why don't we have to fight him normally? Looks like as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Here we go. What? We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. Only to remind you of your duty. Oh yeah. Oh, you cut my dog up. Not my dog. Oh. In a short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. That was a vessel. I fear my lord will still find you. Ow. I cannot see you. All this fire and fury, and for what? Stopping the night. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish <laughs> man. How dare you? You know that in this world or of our place in it. If our fates were so easily Ow. written, we would all be gods. 
好。<laughs> I think that's scripted because I can't hit him fast enough to deplete all that. You would yield so soon. Never. Clive. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominants? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. Oh, true. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... To feed. What? As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure, 
They are... divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Oh. Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. What? For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality. Where they might once more know salvation. Salvation! Oh. Turn everyone and into everything we hold dear. Mindless we don't need zombies your almost. Salvation. We'll save ourselves and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours. And not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Don't kill Jill. Oh, oh, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Clive, how are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> There's no the way. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Yeah, do something. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised Clive's even like running around. That's pretty cool though. Don't look back. Run. That's wild. Clive bested. <laughs> Is that really me? <laughs> well, I have a lot of experience though. Almost 7,500. <laughs> Uh, I believe that means we lost, but I guess we won and lost at the same time. <laughs> Increase impulse will damage and by 10%. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, at least uh, Jill didn't die. Good. I I'm just waiting for her to something to happen to her, like something bad. I hope the others are safe. Because. The Enterprise yeah. was clear of the gap when we fell. I really do think that it, we'll John. take her power. He's naked! They would have seen the They're both naked. Red Why are we naked? <laughs> we need only wait till dawn. Dry our clothes, I guess, but... Naked! <laughs> this is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. How did he... Have no cut. There really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never. Oh, why there's do a little that. red speck in the sky there? So you believe? <laughs> but do you really know me? You really know. If what Barnabas said was true, then. Thanks on the stars. Thanks on the beach and on the stars. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you think? <laughs> Best time. <laughs> think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or. By whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? Get in there, Jill. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna do it. You'll 
you're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so low. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. Yourself. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. They gonna do it, then. <laughs> they gonna do it. I think I might be beyond saving. <laughs> no one is beyond saving, provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. Well. And I know <laughs> you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. Oh? To give you what you need to protect us all. She's gonna give him some of his powers, or her powers. And then some. Oh, yeah. Jill. Come here, baby. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, he's gonna take some of her Jill powers. If, if this is what you <laughs> want, then. Oh, my gosh. Oh. How romantic. Make me blush. Okay, so <laughs> this burden. Jill doesn't die. <laughs> Which is to bear it alone. really good. No, you get this very romantic scene where he takes her powers. These burdens I carry. My sins, my pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. I would say it is very artistic. This moment. Very symbolic. That's pretty much how they first like. And I promise you, Clive, oh. that I will be there, no matter what you must become. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm blushing. I will admit, very romantic and sexy scene. I thought a smile could bring me <laughs> so much joy. Yeah, we waited all game for this. <laughs> they didn't have to be naked, but 
They had to at least profess their love for each other. Your parents walk in and are like, what are we watching here? <laughs> well, luckily there's no sound because I put it through my headphones and then I locked my door. So <laughs> we're good. We good. We good. Nice. Good Final Fantasy right there. Where's Man Death at? <laughs> and he asked her how she felt about this part. I wouldn't assume she got this far, but. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Enterprise. Wonder if they've always been there. <laughs> Looking from a distance. Just kidding. They probably just showed up. Oh, That's so cute. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last mother crystal. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Looks alright. Are you what? <laughs> then uh, let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Ash. <laughs> Torgal. <laughs> he was there for the whole thing. <laughs> but the cool thing about Torgal, the, the dog, is uh, he's actually a frost wolf. And apparently in Norse mythology, the promise. Uh, frost wolves are like, I don't know, Shiva's like best companion? I don't know. But yeah. Joe Cole cool character, yeah, Doggo is great. Excuse me. Mid says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. Oh, he definitely did that. Oh, Clive, okay. yeah, he's great. I struggle to believe it myself. Yeah, he's been through a whole lot. So your uncle isn't with you? Yeah, I don't know if he's you've seen the, the beginning Enterprise. of the game, but. After our brush with the Iron yeah. Hedia, she was in urgent Crazy. need of repair. And then finally My he's... Knows a ship right in Randalar. He's finally accepted the idea there, that he's very different sure wise? from all the other Dominants. Either, and a Dominant is just a person Show who has not only the true. ability to cast magic, but also plague is spreading. Um, the power of an Eidolon, or an Akon, I'm an Aeon, what do you want to call it? So, he's actually Ifrit. But he also has, again, the power to Every take the other Eidolon's so. powers, or Icon's powers. So again, that's why we have um, all these elements to our disposal. And we just got the Power of Ice. I've claimed a portion of the Icon Shiva's essence. Doing which Shiva not only uh, changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several iconic abilities such as Ice Age, which forcefully knocks back enemies great distances. Uh, ability details are found on the abilities tab. Main menu. Oh, ooh, that's cool. Some dashing. Shiva's iconic feet cold snap can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward, or back to either dodge attacks or close in on them. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tony will allow it. This is another side quest. Yep, it's another time for side quests. Uh, the issue is, though, it's time for me to switch another icon power, meaning Shiva in. Yeah, I had a feeling 
we would get Shiva. Because pretty much just one of each element. So we got fire, wind, electricity, earth, light, uh, ice, ice slash water, cold water. <laughs> and then Odin's probably going to be the last one because he's, you know, there. Um, and then there's, you know, some super mega boss way to fight afterwards. Uh, which is probably Ultima and his goon squad, whoever that is. Um, yeah. There's so much stuff. Uh, do I really care to have this? I might as well get it, though. I have a lot of ability points. Uh, I guess I can switch away from Comet for a little bit. Someone wants to storm the freeze enemies in place within a radius before dealing massive damage. Oh, it's Diamond Dust, hell yeah. Diamond Dust is the iconic Shiva ultimate move. Mesmerize. Launch multiple shards of ice that upon striking lighter enemies, draw them toward Clive. Can be used in midair. So it's a good combo to use Mesmerize and Diamond, but, uh, Diamond Dust. It has a lot of stun. Five star stun. Um, I kind of want to keep Garuda though. Because of the this, the Deadly Embrace. Because yeah, for enemies that have the break bar, uh, when they get halfway, you get like, mm, gets knocked off balance, and then you can use Deadly Embrace to throw them into the ground. I want to show that. Yeah, this. See, so you get half staggered, then we just slam them in the ground, and then we can have our way with them for a little bit. Um, do us Ice Age. Oh, at least a river of icicles that greatly knocks back any enemies that strikes full button to increase the potency. I think I'd rather have this mesmerize because then we again combo it with diamond dust. Um, if anything, I would uh, what you call it? Oh, uh, put it over Gruda. I don't know. I kind of want to put it over Ifrit, but or Phoenix, but because technically the Phoenix circle move or button does this little dash. It's very similar to Shiva's ice dash, cold snap, as they call it. But then I lose this damage. But I guess I get something else. Nah, I guess fine. We played with Phoenix enough. And then change around because I, I do like Garuda. Plus, having the uh, aerial blast active while we do other stuff is pretty good. Again, the damage is not that great, as you see, it's only two stars, but again, just good crowd control. It does a lot of stun. Um, but yeah, we do lose the, some damage, so oh well. Alright, I think it's that time. We're going to start getting ready for bed back to work in the morning. Alright, have a good night, Rex. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the resub as well. You have a good week. Maybe I'll see you again at some point this week. If not, then yeah. Take care and, of course, be easy. Thanks. Oh, yeah, I want that. Um, what else can we put? I the Warrior? Yeah. I think that increases. Excuse me. Breath of the Wild. Oh, Breath of the Wind. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Uh, we just aerial bra blast. Blast cooldown by 11 seconds. Meh. I think that buffs Bahamut's Giga Flare. Flare breath, flare breath. But is it's imp it impulse this thing? It is be that thing. Whoops. Keep doing that. I definitely want to switch off this ignition accessory since I'm not using Phoenix right now. Do do increase damage, sure. Anything else? Um, do I really need experience? Honestly, I think I'm okay now with experience. I'm way overleveled. But 
That's fine. Um, I guess the rest of the stream can just be us. Oh, that's a lot of side quests. Need a bunch of side quests. Can help? Are there any new hunts? There's no new hunts. Uh, there's a bunch of side quests around these parts, though. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? Bad news. About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing at Aoife like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. <laughs> hey, let's keep going. Yeah, I think a uh, side quest with the plus sign just means we're gonna get some sort of, you know, increase or expansion to our either um, makes and lumps. Can we actually teleport away? Are we stuck here for a quest? Oh yeah, we can. We can do all the side quests. Come back. Definitely do all the side quests. Uh, I don't think we really need to uh, need to go. Oh. That's... Trouble with your gear, or... Saying for you, do you? Ice brand, hell yeah. No scratches, right? Right. Still don't have what it takes to make all balls. Comes all balls. So that's in the future. That it? Fine. Captain Doors. Sir, I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris uh, refuses all offers of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Okay. Um, there's still another side, whoop, side quest, yeah, in the garden again. Even weirder science, I bet. Yeah, hopefully I can do all of these side quests and then just leave the main quest for next time. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? We shall see. <laughs> I love how the jumping's. And the loss. Wait, wait, am I in the right place for this? I'm not in the right place for this, am I? Uh, there should be a downstairs, right? Miss, can we read Miss Edith's story for a lesson? How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Sid, just the man I was hoping to see. D did you have a mo? A mo? Don't tell me. <laughs> you need more bomb ash. Like a moment? Oh no, we still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. smelter. It's got a verbatry hood over the top for additional thermo amplification. And a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that that um 
Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met like the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. Neither. The good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? I was facing like. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, Fine. it is. I promise you. Well, you'll so, be awkward, dude. What exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? Good stuff. We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. <laughs> so you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. <laughs> We're only three short, Mike, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume. Last Plume. And another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the Ruins of Advent. That's a which is in the very Empire. long fetch All quest, right it sounds like. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Yeah. Yeah, let's see here. That's... Uh, let me teleport to the front. Covered in nicks and lumps. What was it? Where's Dory's? said I'm looking for Doris is she here I'm afraid not she's at Martha's rest on a job my job actually what? when she heard what the mission was she insisted on going herself alone did she what was the mission following up on some new information once they'd settled in the bearers you helped liberate in the dragon's airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment and about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I do everything here. There's a lot of side quests right now. It's probably like six or seven. There just... should be somewhere nearby. There's one big one. Assuming she's still here. Martha. Ah, Clive. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in East Pool. Seeds for plant. Yeah, I forgot that he's up there. It's about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if East Pool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers, they've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well. The Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. 
And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. That's good. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep him in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. <laughs> it's all green. Gazal Greens. <laughs> Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Fill a hole? Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. Ah, if that's true. And chocobos love them too. Chocobos. Which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get Eastpool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. Oof. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade will know what to do with them. And if he I think what kind of well, vegetable that is in I'll real life, there and that's show him myself. not good sure <laughs> at all. <laughs> Killing the Flame Part 2. Okay. Let's search for Doris. And again, let's do all these. Little, what? Doris, I've come for you. It doesn't still hurt, does it? There you are. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. You don't remember Doris How at all. The investigation. <laughs> Sid. What brings you to Martha's Rest? You. You. Yeah. I heard you were out here on your own tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. What? She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrec. Right. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort, which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Sounds good. Journey to faraway place. Uh, let's do this one first. So I can just teleport there and let it be done. And then we can go back down and do the other two. I'm not tracking this one, so. I heard the guardian saying you're supposed to grow on. That's you, Wade. Oh. Ah, Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha. These are Gizal green seeds. Mm -hmm. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom. Of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, We've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. The Horde. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all, I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square, 
Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the Bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the Bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. Yeah, I'll learn how to fight sometime. I will appeal to them. If not, then of course, Clive's gonna go out and kick some ass. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We Guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. <laughs> they don't want to fight. You would send us to the slaughter. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. What? But it is worth fighting for. Martha. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. Didn't you? This place, East Pool. This is your village, your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die having never stood up for yourselves? <laughs> Frying pan. Or will you fight like free men and women? <laughs> Frying pan, Justin. <laughs> Give me a frying pan. What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. <laughs> Give me a frying pan. Yeah. Give me a frying pan. For Eastpool! For Eastpool! Thank you, Martha. <laughs> That's the power of the frying pan. Don't mention it. Uh, Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Let's do it. Well, if it was numbers oh. you were lacking, you certainly okay. won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own <laughs> voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady, we're ready. So what's the plan of action? 
That's gonna be awkward fighting with um, small a different setup. Each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. Defense. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, defense. we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, okay. leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Sir, wait! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria! Rosaria! For Rosaria! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Let's do that. Suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Right you are, Martha. Martha. All right, let's do it. Let me test out this the calm before the snap storm. real quick. Oh, I didn't even set nothing. I forgot to set um, diamond and dust. Here it comes. Oh. I will not let this village fall. I got you. Easier than expected. Granted, I just sucked. <laughs> nice. I need to switch to Diamond Dust, though. Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rushfield, change of plan. What? 
What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's oh, ride no. and is headed in their direction. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. Switch over my diamond desk. Let's put mesmerize here. Diamond desk here. I don't know why putting the ultimate on triangle it makes more sense to me. Anyways, uh, where are we going? Turn in volume two. I think that's where I'm going, right? Look at the quests. Okay, so it is that one I was looking at. This one. Uh, I guess we'll just walk slash chocobo. I can't chocobo there. What? I want to. Oh, because I'm in the town, technically. I see. <laughs> I was going to say, like, why can't I chocobo? Next one's mine. I might. Oh. Come on. Faster. That's good. No, excuse me. It's a lot of random goblins. <laughs> sorts of weird noises. Alright, so I'm looking for a curl that's been infused. Yeah. Faith. Oh, found it. It's time. Oh, great. <laughs> there it is. With me, Toggle. Too slow. Too slow. A book. Yeah, careful. Like regular dodging better than this. Diamond dust. Oh wow. Staggered the crap out of me. That diamond does though, it's so good. I realize I am still. So <laughs> good. I like how they just send us back. Saves me some travel time. Though I guess I could have just teleported. Lord Rossfield, the curl, is it? It's dead. Thank the founder for that. And for you, my lord. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but all seems quiet for now. I hesitate to Excellent. say it, but I think it might be over. I Perfect. think it might. <sighs> we 
We did it. We saved Eastpool. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. You and your people saved us. And still we doubted you. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. Mm -hmm. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours. To protect Eastpool. And we shall. We all shall. Together. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away... They'll have us to answer to. Come on then. Let's get to work. Go to work. This village isn't going to rebuild itself. <laughs> Mission accomplished. They're not slaves anymore. No. They're Rosarians. Yeah. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today, this is what he would have wanted. I believe you might be right. I shall remain here, my lord, and do what I can to help rebuild the village. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. Poolian? I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Pudlian. Wade. <laughs> but you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight, too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. Martha and I'll be counting Stewart. on yours, too. <laughs> Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. And Clive, come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. Oh, get a reward. I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. Yeah, true. All right. I will. So why can't you just pay me here? <laughs> Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? Being escaped. Clearing the goblins oh. from the Stillwind Marshes. That too. I remember that. <laughs> We fought our first forget. Marlboro there. <laughs> There's one side that I shall never forget. Yep. <laughs> you, facing off against that giant marble. Not a trace of fear on your face. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when I felt like giving up. When the odds seemed so stacked in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. But every day. time, I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means to be a shield. Mm -hmm. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Thanks to you. So, Ed, you have always been a true shield. Yes. I know that Eastpool, and indeed all of Rosaria, will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh, Martha. Get our reward. And move on to do the other two quests in this area. Hero returns. It's lucky you came by when you did, eh? Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again. And a home to free bearers. Who'd have thought we'd see the day, eh? Well, it was your idea. I know that, but <laughs> I never stopped to think what it would mean. 
bearers in charge of themselves, thinking for themselves, working for themselves. Like your hideaway, but not even hidden away. Though I suppose mm. the rest ain't much different nowadays. You know, bearers living free like that mm. reminds me of when I first met Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What happened? Well, if you really want to know, <laughs> I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. Oh. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. Interesting. Oh, flashback. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. Something awful anyway. Mm. Me, I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. <laughs> but somehow we both managed to work out what each other was about. And before I knew it, the cheeky arse was rattling on at me <laughs> about how I was doing it all wrong. After all my hard work. <sighs> told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. Mm. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Got right under my skin it did. Mm. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And do you know what he did? He smiled. And then he laughed. And then I did the same. We made a pact that day that whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. Oh. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing. To make life better for bearers. Just like your dad. Do you know I was born right around the time Elwyn became Archduke? Oh. Growing up, I saw how he tried to change things. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed. Indeed. The loftier one's ambitions, the harder they are to achieve. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little. Anyway, enough nattering. Better get back to work. Let's see about making everyone some dinner, shall we? The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. And you and me ain't gonna save the world on an empty stomach neither. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Oh, oh wow. That's a lot of experience. Jesus. Ooh. I should go back and look to see what's actually displayed <laughs> in my chambers. Anywho. Uh, I wonder if I just teleport to the next side quest. Yeah, maybe faster. Let's take care of these two quests. Hopefully they're not too bad. I think one of them is a part of the yeah third quest there. The fetch quest. Oh wait, am I going the right way? This way, right? It is not this way. This way. Chocobo! So, out there. I'm gonna just keep following it. For this one. Goblin's right outside. I'm good though. The slavers. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. 
Back to civilization, is it, Mom? Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. <laughs> Not the pay. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have come. Uh. Kill him. What a bitch. You're welcome to try. I definitely need the accessory that does that makes the diamond do more damage. <laughs> yeah, she was not as good as the one that I have already. At least, that's what it seems like. Go with my dog. I'm kind of glad I don't have to worry about my allies, like, Roby. <laughs> Alright, slaver lady, it's time to get your ass wrecked. <laughs> or something, I don't know. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. <laughs> Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Oh, what? Sid! Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade? You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. Oh, so you be I'm a sorry, mercenary? Sid, I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the mm. highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Stop. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. Not that. You always were no. a righteous child. <laughs> we're not going to kill him. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. So we're not going to kill him. Why are we here? <laughs> what the... What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. Uh -huh. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. Sounds good to me. An 
I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. I can turn that in whenever. And again, there's one more side quest out here, so let's do that real fast. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it, but yeah, it just took me back to the hideout for whatever reason. Cole. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. Don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers will be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else to turn in right now. Right. I just gotta go back out there and do all the stuff. Um, what's the fastest way? They're both not fast. <laughs> I guess this would be the fastest way. It kinda sucked that it didn't just let me keep going to the other part of the side quest. Do the other side. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That last time, too. I'm guessing this will increase my carrying capacity again. And my potions. Oh, 
to find up. this spherical echo. Eric Black, oh, was... You over here. This is it. Right then. Um, go buy some potions. <laughs> Got hit too many times. I kind of wish they healed you when you teleported to a town or something. Or there's an actual inn I could stay at to replenish my health. Anything catch your eye? Um, just need some potions. Thank you. There you go. Thanks very much. That all is it. Let's go to the next place. There's a lot of places I can go. Um, there's a lot of quests. Uh, let's really do the ones that I'm. Wait, I'm already, I'm already accepted. I'm feeling I won't be able to even do them all. Um, let me see. What else? Fight and we can pick up one of the orbs. Thanks, girl. Where's the next thing we can go to? Let's do this one, I guess. Ah, Clive. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. That is good news. Yes. In here, so gonna... Our comrade in Randala has just sent word that the contract should be signed very soon. But I still have much and more to prepare. It's a huge undertaking moving this many bearers at once. You couldn't do me a quick favor, could you? What is it this time? Mm, what is it this time? Wild beasts. <laughs> Nothing like that. I just third. need you to go over to the caravans and ask El how long we have until the bearers arrive. Find third out thing. exactly how much faster I need to get all these supplies moved. All right. I'll go and ask. It's been a while, but Thanks, I kind of want to get some uh, wireless headphones <laughs> for um, this. And so I'll have to be connected to my speaker like this. I could probably get this uh, aux cable sort of thing. I do a Bluetooth thing. 
Don't blame yourself, Elf. Yeah, this is just this is their uh, fault, not yours. Audio know, cable or aux cable no about it, connection. All right. I should probably do that too. Is something wrong? Yeah, maybe I'll just order one. Me a message from our intermediary. The talks with the Republican army have fallen to, through. Uh, They've reached an agreement with the Silver Peak Consortium instead. The prices have fallen. Buy a wireless. We headphones. deliberately offered above the going rate to try and deter other bidders. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. You had no opportunity to make a counteroffer? None at all. And we were so close. Elle? What's happened? I, I saw Vonnie leaving. She didn't look happy. And with good reason. But I thought we were the only ones the Fist were speaking to about the Bearers. How did the Consortium even find out about this? It's not so surprising. They have ears all over the Republic. This isn't over. The Consortium will have to sell these Bearers eventually. And at the price they paid, buyers will be few and far between. I'm going to Randallar myself. Alone? Wow. You sure that's wise? Are you offering to be my bodyguard? How yes, kind. I do. <laughs> Meet yes, me at the I checkpoint do. near the capital gates. I'll send an owl ahead and request a meeting. You go to Cashlock, Theo, and get everything ready. We've waited far too long as it is. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Someone needs to prepare the place and keep any prowling beasts at bay. Oh, and that's me, is it? Well, looks like I'm following orders till she gets back from... We're meeting the Silver Peak Consortium, who've been doing their best to undermine our scheme. She'll never join them after this, surely. No, she said it herself. She still has plans for Cashlock, even if this one falls through. She means to stay with us, then. Yeah. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but is this what she really wants? Mm. You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Elle's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and leave for Cashlock. We'll make sure the place is well stocked and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. <laughs> if she won't consider her prospects, someone has to. I'll do my best. Do my best. All right. To Randala then. I better not keep Eloise waiting. Uh, we can do that later. Not far. Well, I guess it's just south of here. Honestly, yeah. Just take Chuckle down. Uh, wait. Which one's closest? Am I going the right way? It's <clears throat> the 400 and something yards. What I wouldn't give for a hot. This is no time to ride. No time to ride. Come on. Avis up there. Uh, I don't think we have to fight it though, so let's skip it. Chocobo! Oops, can I talk to you on my Chocobo? Do I have to get off? I have to get off. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Did you arrange to speak with a consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me? Uh oh. I did. It's about the bearers you recently purchased from the Fist. Fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. Uh. You misunderstand. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. 
It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not neutral. What? And so we resumed our business. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want for them? Alas, you are too late oh. yet again. Oh. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. The bearers belong to him now. Yep. Yeah, the best. Who is your buyer? A trader from oh, across the water. The a most demanding fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks for the voyage over. That's what you get when you deal with continental types. I wouldn't know. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is quite different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay... That does sound... unusual. No matter, then. If they've already left our shores, there's little that can be done. Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. Oh. My associates will be sorry to hear that. Just shush old them. Didn't even do anything though. So I thought we had to like fight. I'm sure we have to. Have I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I, but I only have myself to blame. He was right, you see. The Let's Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I feigned interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to Randall R. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be well treated. Which is something, at least. But they deserved more. I wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. Theo and the others are trying to hold them off as best they can. We are fighting the something. odds are against them. They need help, and fast. Theo! Oh. I'll go on ahead. Thank you, Clive. Chocobo time. I'll gather some men and join you there. Just... Make sure he's safe. Hold on, Theo. The music kind of like disappeared. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where? How far away are you? There's three. Oh, here. It's still far. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Let's go here. Go right. Loop around. Let's go. Run like the wind. Okay, back on the right one. Yeah. Right. Oh, this is that village. Isn't it? Oh, this is for the uh, other sphere, actually. Grab this. This is the right spot. What's the situation? It's all tense. I've come to slay a Drake. Where's Theodore? Up river! He led the dragon that way to keep it from the village. But the whole area is flooded with ether. Uh oh. We just have to pray he makes it out in one piece. 
I could do better than that. Toggle, with me. That path is overhead. Sprinting. Yeah, what am I supposed to do with all these crafting materials? I really do think, like, by end game, there's gonna be more stuff we can craft. these hell divers. Hey there. So many of them. Time. I can't waste any more time. I need to find Theodore before that dragon does. Oh, speaking of dragon. Oh, big boy dragon too. Looks like it's found me. This thing's turned as well. This isn't going to be easy. It's like a fresh dragon we fought. And, uh, first crystal. Yes. Sorry, I forgot what it's called.
a lot easier to dodge. I'll do level two. We have to get you out of here. Oh no. It's turned. I think it might be a little too late for that. Bearer or no, there's only so much ether a man can take, and that Drake just wouldn't let me leave. You have my thanks, Sid. For finishing oh, so what sad. I could not. Her brother. For keeping Elle's dream. Theodore! It's too late for him. So sad. Yeah, put him out of his misery. Don't make me do this. Stop it, Theo! Too late. Stop! Stay back, Eloise! He's turned. And so will you. What time is she going to turn to? Himself. Late. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. Gone. <laughs> Some heavy, uh, heavy story plots. I mean, no side story, but still. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. That was true bravery he showed. Leading the dragon away from the village like that. His first instinct was always to protect people. To put others' well-being before his own. And now he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. He was ready to do whatever it took to show you he could stand on his own. So that you would finally be free to live your own life. To live my own life? He never could come to terms with the choice I made. What exactly happened? You once told me Theo was the first bearer you ever helped. We grew up in Canva. 
we were born to one of the great trading houses. And I was chosen to inherit the family business. I had my father's head for figures, you see. Theo did not. While I studied the art of commerce, he played at soldiers instead. A late bloomer, in more ways than one. For unlike most bearers, it wasn't until his 15th summer that his powers awakened. Mm -hmm. My parents tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could, mm -hmm. I took him into mine. Mm -hmm. Theo told me something else. He clearly admired your devotion to the cause of freeing others like him from slavery. But he said you deserved a better life than this. He wanted to free you from what he called your bonds, just as you freed him from his. I would be lying if I said I had not wondered from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the family business instead. But I have never regretted the decision I made. Being with my brother meant more to me than tradition or reputation. I only had to look at him to remind myself of that night and the choice I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. Mm. He was never a burden. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who weighed him down. You weren't Eloise. He said to himself that he had always been grateful to you for saving him, and that he wanted to repay you by letting you live the life you were denied. Neither you nor Theo weighed each other down. You loved one another. You did whatever was necessary to continue living your lives together, and you always would have. Oh. You're right. All I ever wanted. All I ever did. It was so we could be together. Oh, Theo. Why did you have to... <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I know Theo wanted me to move on, but I'm staying here at the Crimson Caravans to continue our work. We can make a difference here. We can help people, save them. I need nothing more from life than that. So I'll carry on doing what we do, ensuring that goods, people, bearers get where they need to be, bringing smiles to people's faces, just like we always have, and to Theo's. Wherever he is. Mm. This is the life I have chosen. The life I will always choose. I've made a choice of my own. To continue helping you however I can. Whenever you need it. Thank you, Clive. Let's go on together then. For Theodore. Hello? How are you? Oh, no sense. Got the fire, got cyclone. Cool down. It's not that good. Um, alright, let's keep going. Uh, probably do another one or two and call it quits. Let's pick up the sphere pool. I'm going to do with Augustus. Uh, good work. Yeah, this can be the last side quest for the night. So Dravosht is still standing. For now, at least. If you can swing a hammer, you can swing a sword. <laughs> Why, I think he. I don't know who's going to say that. Um, anyways. Why is this music so tense all of a sudden? Clive! You're here! And the Akashic. 
Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. What's that Snotty? Buy us some time if we need it. Snotty. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes at least. Well done. Welcome back. Whoa. Sid. Man. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the <laughs> realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? Mm -hmm. I am. That's Boy, why you we're here. Without me, did you? <laughs> Good old Blackthorn. Whole gang's Blackthorn. here. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate, you didn't think I deserved a no. So then, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. <laughs> then you ain't here an apology. Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Mm. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and bar for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. <laughs> Oops. You're what Dravos needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosh is safe. <laughs> Fine. I've said my piece anyway. <laughs> All he yeah. said was, you so prick. I. <laughs> Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. I'm short enough on time as it is. Still, Call me Black Thorn, give us a mo, bastard. <laughs> I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Oof. All right, let's do it. You, uh, ready for the off, then? Mm-hmm. We can't afford to waste any more time. I don't know if there's anything else right, to do. Are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford. Uh-oh. You and Zoltan might be You're better here. staying inside the... Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Uh. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Yeah. <laughs> so you're Once a black. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stand, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what a Kashyyyk beast can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. <laughs> oh. But it won't they come won't. to that. I promise. Yep. You can't die. You gotta save the world. You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravos till I get back. Leave it to me. And give those things what for, yeah? Yeah. It's hell in the cell. <laughs> it's... Oh! It's a bicorn, but a cash. And a bunch of doggos.
Oh Jesus, that was... Stunned right away. I wish it was worth doing it to this thing, but that's okay. I'll just kill this guy real quick and deal with whatever else we gotta deal with. Stung me. <laughs> Bit of my dog. Oh. Huh. Should be one more big monster. Yep. <laughs> How'd I know? Apparently not. Oh, was that Chimera? Oof. It's not even a Kashyyyk. It's just ugly. <laughs> Straight up Chimera. Uh 
<laughs> I did no damage though. Finish. No, oh, the question is, did I miss any? <laughs> Gonna go back and find out. Man alive! You're still in one piece! <laughs> I slew as oh, many yeah. as I could. You killed so many. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time? Yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Sid! <laughs> You're even more fearsome <laughs> than your reputation. His voice is very echoey. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. <laughs> but mostly, I felt grateful. Dravos won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. Yeah. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. <laughs> and from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmekia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day. Because it's easy. And turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. <laughs> I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare not let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. <laughs> Just be sure to tell Snotty to let Snotty. me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw back in my good graces. 
I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. <laughs> Sid, I've got something for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good seal. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain soul oh, yeah. passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now, hold on, Zoltan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. Mm. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make That'd be cool if it's like the ultimate blade or something. I've own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? Oh, yeah. I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. Oh. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Not Excalibur, we already have Excalibur. I don't know what the other sword is. Yeah. Um, we're gonna leave these two side quests for the time being. I am gonna do that last client's one over here. And I'll come back to do this one as well, but I do need that orb. Yeah, let me just finish these two side quests. And then I'll call it. Call it night. I know I said the other one was gonna be the last one, but I think it's one of those that's on the list. So let me just clear it from the list. I think there's still like three more side quests. Wild. Some more side quests. Again, we are nearing the end, so they're letting us level up and upgrade as much as we can before the final showdown. Or at least, you know. Not the final, but maybe it's the final against Odin, but for sure the world's gonna go even more into chaos and that's when we get to oh do more stuff. Enough of you are there. You deserve a rest. What? Ah, oh, quick. Quick. What? Uh -huh. Damn it. That's so hard to. But, er, yeah. Perfect dodges. Quick. <laughs> Not working out. Can't react in time. There's stuff in here. Here's all I needed. <laughs> Let's just make a fair to go off by just suck that. Dodge. Let's find this thing. Oh, there it is. 
that's all of them. Alright. Back to the hideout. So that's it. One, two, three. Three more side quests. It's not bad. So I think we just did three. Maybe even four. Uh, let's go and talk to Come back. Bloodthorn and a uh, Bloodthorn, Blackthorn and Sultan. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of happy enough. Happy nights. Ah, uh, the man himself. <laughs> we were just yes, about to make a legend. start on that sword I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. Oh yeah. You remember Camille? We'll be using Leather. his paperwork for the grip. The steel nice. meanwhile will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zongan here. Oh yeah. And that wet stone from the outer oils? Oh yeah. That'll be what gives the blade its edge. That's cool. You like the whole build up. Final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. <laughs> That's really cool. So like, in the span of what, three quests? Maybe four now? This ultimate sword. I think it's gonna be like the ultimate blade, or ultima blade, or something. Ultima weapon. Well, bugger me. <laughs> we actually sword of kings. Did it. I don't know. Whoa, it looks like ultima. Ooh. The sword to end Ragnarok. all swords. Hell yeah. Ragnarok. It's quite something. I uh, trust you'll take good care of it. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Yeah. A list of materials. Oh, or chop. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravost. You gonna make it their we own legendary weapon? Those items there. We could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's better what than I'd Ragnarok. like to see. You leave this list with me. That'd be cool. They made like the monster sword or something crazy. <laughs> One legend at a time, My eh, heart. lads? Before you start on the next. Who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? I would love to see like Good idea. legacy weapons, like other than no the ones we already had. My past. But like so le legacy ultimate weapons celebrate. from other Final Fantasies. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! <laughs> tap the keg. Alright, what weapon? Oh yeah, we got the Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, I wonder what the other weapon would be. I guess I can look at it on the blacksmith table. Let's Oh, Gutter Mudderburn. <laughs> Gutter Damarung. Nice. That's actually a weapon in uh, Lightning Returns, actually, and I never got it before. I don't think. I think that is the strongest weapon in uh, Lightning Returns. Nice. I'm pretty sure I don't have any of the materials. I'm pretty sure Orichakum's gonna be one of the materials. Let me see what it needs. I'm just curious. So what do I owe Diana? I never thought me and Zoltan would ever speak again, let alone work together. <laughs> and if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The best. What do you want? Alright, let's see. Oh. 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 A lot of stuff. Dark steel. I don't want the Ouroboros. Yeah. Need a bunch of Ori Chalcum. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I don't think they cooked it for us. Let's go ahead and equip it. Yeah, that's kind of crazy how fast weapons become obsolete. <laughs> but that's all good. Uh, let me look at the wall right here. 
curious what all we got. We got a lot of stuff. Wall of memories. I don't even have everything either. There's the oath. Hangman signboard. I remember. Want this rest? Nice. Guardian scarf. Crimson caravans. Nice. Sid's goblet. The mental sensor. Do I remember that? Martel's apples. Roshi attacked. There's still a lot of stuff left. So. Half the stuff is remaining. Nice. <laughs> we got the Ragnarok. Cool. It is not this way. This way. I mean, it's been good. Really, a lot of progress. They did not die, <laughs> which I'm happy. I'm just afraid. I mean, they didn't kill off Dion either, so maybe I should have been like, eh, they, they wouldn't kill off Jill, would they? I mean, they go off errors <laughs> back in seven, so How was she? still in the realm of possibility. But I don't think it's the gonna happen now. Ah, Sid, wasn't expecting you back so soon. So, is it good news or bad? Good. Good, Very thankfully. Good. Yeah. Ah, that's brilliant. Thanks so blimmin' million! Blimmin' million. I'll fit into the smelter right away! <laughs> Alright, what are you making? I'm pretty sure it's making like another pouch or something. Sometime later. May I present to you... The oh. Not even. Bad, is she? This boy. She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, bacon. Sid, and I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. It's it's fine, really. <laughs> my bag's uh, flexible enough already. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements. Bigger to it. bag. Yeah. You could just buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon I know how. <laughs> Bigger the bag. new alloy we've been working on. The Telemon furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's okay. lovely and strong, but it's stretchy. also, well, stretchy. Stretchy. If you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You'll love it. I promise. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. So, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, a wine. A wine. Shh. Didn't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Give me weirder sounds. I have a lot of experience. Expanded satchel. Even more capacity. Inventory maximized. So can we get like 10 potions and like, I don't know. Nope, 8. 8544. Four. So with two D's. What? <laughs> but so she don't be safe. Kinda curious about the reputation rewards. I'm gonna check it real quick, see if there's anything. Um but yeah. Yeah yeah, it's a reputation reward. Let's see what we got. Desiree. How may I help you today, Clive? 
Oh, well, it's a bunch of stuff I don't really need. This clutch mine's new, though, right? Here you are. Ring of swift shot. Genji gloves. Ooh, Genji gloves. All an enigma. Interesting. It's definitely uh, the gap between rewards is getting bigger. <laughs> Sorry, but you're not quite there Fair yet. Right. Alright, guys. Thanks for everything. Hope everyone has a good night. And yeah, until next time.